Hey, welcome to another TMK broadcast. It's your host, Bombay and Blue Angel. How you doing, Bombay? Pretty good. How about you? Doing good. Just got back from vacation. This this is a late video post. Oh yeah, you missed Kashyyyk. I did. He did not go oh, to Kashyyyk. Big How shout lame. out. Whatever. Big shout out to TMK Palazzo for a great showing. Awesome job, guys. Thanks. We actually have Deborah here on the screen. Went seven and zero at Kashyyyk the first day. Yeah, and she finished top ten overall, right? Yep, she was number ten. Very. It will impressive, most impressive, very impressive. <laughs> All right, uh, Deborah here on the left. She's running Colonel Vessery with Veteran Instincts and the Tyx Seven title, Countess Ryan with the Veteran Instincts and the Tyx Seven title, and Merrick Steele with Trick Shot in the Tyx Seven title. Um, so Vessery's ability, of course, when attacking immediately after you roll attack dice, you may acquire Target Lock on the defender if it already has a red Target Lock token. Riot is when you reveal a straight maneuver, you may treat it as a K turn. And of course, Merrick Steel is the crit digger. When he does a. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> a crit digger. <laughs> crit digger. Uh, when, <laughs> when your attack deals a face up damage card to the defender, instead draw three damage cards, choose one to deal, and discard the others. All right. And Russell over here is running with the uh, Omega Ace with Com Relay, Swarm Leader, Colonel Vessery with Juke, Tie X7, and Twin Ion Engine Mark II. Countess Rad with Push Limit, Tie X7, and Twin Iron Engine Mark II. So if you saw the last video, we went over that and the potential power Omega Ace has to throw, what, five dice? Yeah. And all crits and hits at the same time? Or all crits? So let's see if he pulls it off today. But um, in this matchup uh, with, with Deborah's, you know, history, I'm going to put my money on Deborah. Yeah, definitely. Um, she has more defenders. More but, defenders always yes, wins. Yeah, more defenders usually wins. Um she also has pilot skill on both defenders, um, so the only pilot skill interaction is Omega Ace, and even then it's not too big of a worry who has initiative or not. Uh, I'm sure Deb's probably going to take initiative because she always does, it seems. Wait, well, don't they have Countess Riot in the same? Oh, no, but there's VI Ve and Veteran Instincts. Debra's, yeah. So, so it's just Colonel Vessery? Yeah, Colonel Vessery is an 8 because he okay. also has Veteran Instincts. And then Omega Ace is a 7. Yep, so he overlaps, but... In that case, it doesn't quite matter. All right, so both the defenders went out for... Oh, all ships go out for Russell here. So she must have given a ship to him. Uh, he has 98 points, so he actually got to choose, I guess. Oh, yeah, he got to choose. He, why would you... I would think in this lineup, I would defer initiative so I can see where my opponent's barrel rolling to. He might want to shoot first to get rid of their tokens before they shoot at him. But even in that case, yeah, I would, I'd be arc dodging with Omega Ace. Yeah. So. And then lining up that nice shot. Yeah. Five dice. All right, cool. So this is what he did last time. He lines them all up on in the corner. So let's see what Deborah does with hers. Yeah, Deborah's probably just going to go for the joust, because why not? You have more defenders. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, speaking of jousting, did you see the latest Rebels? I guess it's not really jousting. It had swords. Did. What? Swords. What about swords? In the latest Rebels episode. What are you talking about? Star Wars Rebels? Yeah, I know I saw Star Wars Rebels. The one where they go to Sabine's? Yeah. Hometown. Oh, yeah, yeah. They were jou... Oh, I see okay. what you're saying. I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm thinking jousting, like, ship flying. I'm like, what? <laughs> well, it's not like jousting because they don't have any lances, but, you know, they yeah. swords, so yeah. it's fun. They were dueling. They were dueling. Uh, spoiler alert. Oh, that was late. Dang it. Okay. Well, watch the newest episode of Rebels, and you want the wait, stupid spoilers. So, what do you, you think? What you think of the episode? Did you like it? I liked it a lot. Yeah. I didn't like the end. Not, not oh. to give everything away, but I didn't like the end. Yeah, it was okay. I'm kind of upset. Yeah. By okay. It, but yeah. Okay. Should, or I don't want to give anything away. No. But just yeah. you were upset. Yeah. We were upset, folks. Bah. We should all write letters, angry letters to him now. R two D two dies. What? <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Yeah. <laughs> what about Yoda? Did he see okay? Yeah, he's okay. He's okay. okay. <laughs> All uh, right, so they're set up. Go ahead. So, what ship is which here? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I well. think Countess and Merrick Steele are up front and Vessery's in the back. Yeah. And, of course, Countess is always in red. No, nah, she probably put Countess in pink. Really? That tends to do that, I think. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, we can't really tell by the attack order either. Yeah. Um, Once she starts doing green K turns, we'll figure it out. 
Yeah, I want to say it's the red one, but we'll find out. What is he opening up with here? Opening up with the three? Four, three? No, that's a four. Three? Three? Yeah, three. That's a three. All right, three straight for his Ryad. And, and looking at him adjust all of his ships. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> oh, so before the match, we were talking that uh, when we, we play out some players that they, they tend to bump their models a lot. I mean, it's not their fault or anything. and It is a miniature game, so things are going to bump. But it's just kind of funny when we're trying to play and the ships get all wonky when we're playing, you know, because I bump yeah. a lot of my ships too. So <laughs> I always try to put it back as close as possible or have my opponent um, move it back. Yeah, just to be fair. But yeah. good thing in the, in the starting phase, it's well, the first act activation phase. It's pretty easy to put back in the right spot. Yeah. So, oh, there we go. Are all evaded up? Yeah, I got a Kashyyyk mat. You got a Kashyyyk mat. You want to buy it off me? No. Oh. How much are you? Well, how much are you selling it for? Uh, Seventy-five. No. <laughs> yeah, that's cheaper than eBay. Probably, but I, why don't you want it? No, I had two. How'd you get two? I won the opportunity to. Buy another mat. For how much? For 40 bucks. What? Yeah. And you want to sell it to me for 75 Well, yeah. I'm going to make a profit off it. What do you think? But what? $25 profit? No, wait. $35, $35 profit. Yeah. Ugh, it's like a, almost a second mat. Yeah. Dirty dog. Going for 100 Hey, I'm giving going you... Going for 100 Yeah, they're going for 100 Well, I'll All think right. about it. I have to see it first. So... What kind of condition it's in. Yeah. Yeah. Just out of range here. Yep. That's probably really good for Omega Ace, because um, now he'll have two tokens next turn instead of just the Evade. Yeah. Deb's probably going to do... They're probably both going to do three straights. Yeah, you know, I would imagine that, but oh, he pulled out the five there for five. a 5k. There it is. I oh. was very confused about that. I was cutting the video. I was confused, like... What is he doing with that move? I don't get it. Do you think maybe the four and the three would have like bumped the debris that's up there? No, he does a five k just get distance. Yeah, but he... so he's trying to like get shots or to get behind his opponent. He's thinking Deb's gonna open up like a fours or fives. Yeah, probably. He's probably thinking she's going fast. I mean, I'm a rebel player, so I always go as slow as I can. <laughs> One straight to victory. <laughs> straight to victory. But players don't have one. So, yeah. like, I would do, in this position, two. No, you don't do a two. You never do a two. What are you thinking? Well, I would do a two because in the next phase, I No, you I don't do 4K. a two because you don't get the evade token and your defender's dead. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. So, if I was Deb's defenders, I would See, do I don't threes. understand this. He does the 4K. Does he really think Deb's going to do five straight? Well, it's like, I would go as slow as possible and get my evade token. See, yeah. I'd be doing threes if I was Deborah then, right? Yeah. So... They if, should both be doing threes. Yeah, so if my if I'm Russell, my opponent's doing threes, I don't four Ks into bumps. Because then I have no shots, and then every, all the all the other guys can shoot at my guys. You yeah. know, it's like... Yeah, all that four K is going to do is block him, not have any shots except for Omega Ace. Yeah, which doesn't make sense. It turns all your jousting power off. Yeah. That's right, so what Debra grab here. Three. Three, and just going to bump. Yep. So all that did was stop him from getting a shot. And still gets an evade token. But he still has a shot at, guess who? Omega Ace. Your heavy hitter. Yeah. But I'm saying Countess Riot is not going to have a shot because he forced Oh, yeah, bomb. yeah, yeah. So all it did is <laughs> it screwed him. It just screwed Cal. Like, yeah, they weren't even lined up. So I don't know what Now, if he did a three straight with Vessery, Riot would have a range one shot from the back on his Yeah, line. that's true. So that's what he should have been going for if you want to do that 5K with Riot. Yeah. Alright, so bump, his Ryad bump. bumps two, so really safe for next turn two, because now he, Debs knows he's going to do a K turn with his best read. Yeah. So. so she knows exactly what's going to happen next round. Yeah. And then Russell may or may not, yeah. you know, so advantage, he so, just like loses advantage right away here. If you notice here, um, his or Debs' best read just yeah. bumped into the pink defender right there. The light pink? Yeah. What I always do is doing what, exactly what Deb is, where I line up my ships where a little bit's overlapping. Because if something like this happens, I bump into my ship and not his and have no shot. Oh, right, right, right. All right, so Deb rolls. Going to pick up a target lock. No, she has no target lock. Oh. Just one. Yep, just one. 
and she's going to juke. No juke because he rolls all blanks. That's not cocked. Come on. No, it's just saying it's off right here. He's like, oh, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, takes a uh, shield. He has an evade token. Yeah, he probably is going to try to save it, though, I'm thinking, maybe. But don't take damage, that's the rule, Exactly, right? I know. No, he but saved he's it. thinking about saving it. I don't know why, he doesn't have Duke. Well, if he spends it, does he get um, the Storm Leader? Does he get an, uh, Not on himself. Not on himself. Then spend it! Yeah. I don't know why. He doesn't have juke, yeah, so spend it. An evade token is only one damage. No yeah, matter how many dice you, you roll. So if you spend the evade, that's a shield, and that negates the next crit. Yeah, I mean, I, I get it if it's like a, it's a focus token, and it's only one focus result on the table. It's like, do I wait and save for more focus results? Because that, that's a possibility. Yeah. But evade's just That's range one. one, guys. Yeah. Why are they measuring? Totally range one. Is it range one? You can fit two ships right there. Then it's range two. No, you range two ships is range one still. Oh. Yeah, it's two and a half ships. All right. So um, three dice. It's like he's got a focus up there, I think. Who's he shooting at? Shooting range one at one of her defenders and blanks out a okay. token. So it Takes what? two shields. One shield. One shield. There you go. All right. Um, so her defenders. She's probably she probably do Merrick Steel no, last. No, I would say. Oh yeah, yeah, probably. Because um, you want to strip the shields first. Yeah. So she's shooting with Countess. So that's. Well, it doesn't that's matter Countess because right. guess what? Maybe she do Merrick Steel first because there's no damage. I mean, there's no shields on the on the Tie Fighter. I don't know. So it's a four dice. He but dodges everything. I think dodges everything. All, All right, right, range one for Merrick. And three hits. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Spend the evade. Come on. What's he doing? He's. I think he he taken a hit. And he's okay. Okay. A... This is a rule here. You cannot look at your face down damage cards. Oh yeah, that's until that. after the ship is dead. Oh, that's in, you're allowed to look at it after the ship's you're dead. You're allowed, allowed to look after the ship is dead. Because now it's public information, and both players can look at it. Yeah. But right now, neither player can look at it. So, but Russell looked at his first one before it yeah. went down. Okay. Hey, Russell, stop that. <laughs> Deb does it too. I had to tell her. That it was, oh, she does. Yeah. I bet you a lot of people probably do it. Yeah. Without even thinking that's a rule, because like, yeah. what well, it's whatever. It's just, they're just curious, you know. But I guess knowing like how many double damage is left in the deck exactly. is, is key information. So. Especially with Kylo Ren out, it's huge. Right. It's a big, oh, big deal. Big deal. Big deal. All right. So, yeah, Countess. I know. Is that a 4K or 5K? That's a question. Oh, yeah, that's his Countess. So, 5K. Again? Yep. Gets to evade, deciding what to do. Um, just take a focus. Always, oh, right? Always take a focus. I think he's, what, trying to push the limit to a barrel roll? Yeah. Or did he barrel already? He's going to barrel roll right now. Okay. So... It's like I know what's happening before it happens. It's like as if you watched this video before. <laughs> Maybe several times. So he's trying to block the K-turns that are coming. Yeah. And pushes to focus. But a 5K wouldn't block because they're doing 4Ks. She was back behind them a little bit. No, they're pretty much lined up. Oh, pretty yeah. much lined up, yeah. Well, she with the barrel roll. Yeah. It'll block the 4Ks. So, um, another interesting thing. I've been messing with the Upsilon and the coordinate action. Yeah. Um, you can push the limit off of the coordinate. Yes, you can. And then... Take away the stress with the green maneuver and then do your action. So Countess can have all these and not even worry about having Time Mach 2. What? Yeah. Wait, so how does Countess get her action? So, oh, so you, you coordinate, coordinate before she moves. Before she moves. Push the limit. Push the limit. Green maneuver and another action. Yeah. So she still needs Time Mach 2, but it's not as essential. Not as essential, yeah. Because yeah. he's just right, always So his Colonel Vestry bumped 
his own countess. I think he was trying to do a 4K. Yeah. So he blocked his own 4K. Yeah, that's not good. No. All right. I so, bet you if we didn't barrel roll, he would have been fine. Well, yeah, he would have been fine. Would have been close. And then everybody would have had shots. Yeah. I don't know. And then what's going to happen is her ships are going to go right into his vessery. Yeah. And have a range one shot at his countess right now. <laughs> so his block, again, just backfired. Yeah. And then, of course, look, I mean, look at, did Omega lead a K turn? Or no? Yeah. Uh, okay. No. Or Omega no Ace, I mean. Omega okay. Ace didn't K turn. So now that the Omega Ace is not going to have a shot either. So I don't know what the reason for the block, the barrel roll was. All right. So pink, five speed maneuver here. It's going to be Does it K turn? So I told you it's Countess. Oh, all right. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> Counts as kind of drunk right there, though. Yeah, it's all wonky. Those magnetic bases are really cool, though, because you can like point them in any direction. It's not drunk. See, it's like above and pointed down directly at the ship. She's gonna it's like at. as if she's interviewing her and in Counts is in jail or something like that. Yeah. It's got the spotlight on it. <laughs> or she flipped around and put guns, all guns on target. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Like in like Vader did in that Rebels episode? Yeah. Yeah. Vroom, <laughs> So awesome. Poor Phoenix Quadrant. Eh, that's what you get when you go against Vader. Yeah. Speaking of Vader, oh, have you seen that new damage deck out there? I, I got one. Oh, you got one. Hey, Brian, do you have a, a Vader damage deck? No, I didn't go to Kashyyyk. Yeah. Ah, whatever, dude. It's so nice. I bet you. The mats aren't that nice, though, because they're like an inch too big. Like, literal inch too big. Then why are you trying to sell me a botched mat? Because it's still a cool Kashyyyk mat. I'm still going to play on it. <laughs> Isn't it really? It is. It's pretty big off. Like Wow. Why would they even like let those go out? I don't know. I would, like, if I was running the stuff, I'd be like, okay, these mats are all an inch too big. Send them back to the manufacturer and then get vouchers from the players. And then make the, man man make the manufacturer mail them out for screwing up. Yeah. Make them eat the cost, you know? But Yeah, they're pretty... Pretty far off. Wow. Not now. I definitely don't want to buy it for seventy-five. Yeah. All right. I can't uh, use that Vestry shoots range one. I was re-roll the target lock. Who has a red target lock on? I don't uh, see a red target lock. I don't know how she re-rolled. It's drifting. I don't know. There's like yeah. There's one like way drifting that. Maybe it was cocked. Oh uh, maybe. So dodges one, and he's deciding on spending the focus. Spend the focus and they evade. Takes, takes no damage. Two There's damage. one damage. Two. So one. One shield. There you go. We can count. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Mega Ace has no shot. You can always count on the Countess. Now her sevens are going to fire. Range See, one from Countess. it's pointed right at... Yeah, it's letting us know. No, it's not from... It's from... Yes, from Countess. Okay. Oh, Countess. There's the target lock that Vestry picked up. Yep. She rerolls all. And take. Or it has three hits. three hits. And it's going to take three damage, I think, because it's all focuses. Yep. As. Oh, two hits. So okay. he had one evade. And then Vestry, or Merrick Steel, range one. Here we go. Whew. And you nice. And a crit. Two hits and a crit, I believe. And not enough. Dodges one. Hit. And the Merrick Steel gets to see all these crits. And this crit is going to be... Oh, you're going to like this. I'm not even going to tell you. You're just going to find out. You're going to see what happens. Okay. So she's looking at the three. Hands on one. What did you pick? Major Explosion? Uh, and he was going to put his cards away first. Put your cards away, Russell. There you go. Ta-da! Gone. Oh, direct, direct hit. Nice. <laughs> Ouch. Merrick Steele's ability is very good when yeah. you pull it off. <laughs> when you can pull it off. For sure. Oh, it's, it's nasty. It's kind of like Rexler Bratha's ability is very good. Like the one moment you pull it off. Mm -hmm. Merrick Steele's good. I like Predator on him. Because you can reroll for that. Reroll. Try to get a crit. Yeah. More chances. Uh, range one from his. Yeah, how does he have a shot? He's facing the wrong. Oh, onto no, Countess. On Countess. I yeah. see. Spins tokens. Takes one shield. one shield. See, spin tokens to not take damage. That's the way to go. So you know how, like, most of my lists, 
my dice are very good because my list is a built around it being very good. Like if I don't get max hits, I'm having bad game. Like I have target lock focus every single time for yeah. most of my stuff. So if I don't get max hits, it means my dice are bad, pretty much. But the other day I was I was playing Paratani versus yeah. Dev, and like just with focus, no target locks or anything. And I didn't even have to spend the focus. I was rolling max hits like every single time. <laughs> and she rolled max blanks every single time. No. I got like three hits off Fed at like range three or something. It was ridiculous. <laughs> That's bad. I never had a game like that. Most of my games have been like, okay, I'm expecting three hits every single time. If I don't get three hits, it's bad. Like, or yeah. three evades because I have auto thrusters, evade token, pal. Well, it's focus. like you at least expect an average dice roll before modifications. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I usually with my list, I expect bad rolls, and then my modification overcomes them, so they're above average. Right. Everything. But, yeah. Because when I play, if I can get at least average going on, I can get some decent firepower out there. If I and can get at least average. Most lists you know? shouldn't rely on average dice. My lists are built around having lists that don't need average dice. Well, maybe that's a problem with the cards. They should make it so... If you get bad dice, you should have bad dice. But if you get average dice, you can make them better. Well, then you never see any Imperial ship ever played. <laughs> well, that's my problem right now is because Rebels can't do that, right? And then, of course, Empire can take their really bad defense dice and make them super awesome. But Rebels can't modify their attack dice to that extent well, either. you got to also remember one damage on Imperial ship is worth a lot more than one damage on Rebel ship. Only if you're flying Defender because they're so expensive. Well, no. It, just take a look at Suntra Fell. Yeah. One damage is 33% of his health. Take a look at... Uh, let's yeah, just say... At the same time. Uh, po. Let's just so, say po. Let's just re let's go back to Suntra real quick. One damage is 33% of Suntra's health. Yeah. But in one attack, he can take away 33% of a Rebel's health. Not really, no. Yeah, with four, okay, let's say, four hits. Yeah, let's say it's Sunter fell. Three hits and a crit. Let's say Sunter fell at thirty-seven or thirty-five points versus let's just say Poe at thirty-seven points. Okay. With VI, so Poe's six, five, six and health. Auto pressers. Okay. Okay. Poe one damage does absolutely nothing because then he's just going to regen. No, but if you do like two damage, a third, right, or even let's three damage. Okay, three damage. Let's just say that. Yeah. Okay, that's that's half his health, but then he can regen his health. Poe yes. really has like. 10 hit points. Okay. That's the difference with Imperial ships and Rebel ships. That's only one ship that can do that. A lot of Imperial ships Let's can... Let's just say a B-Wing, you have 8 hit points. Right, and you, you lose 4. You can take the damage. You lose 4 in a single no. shot. Okay. Alright. Uh, firing, Vestry shooting, 4 hits. Onto his... Negates 1. So, oh yeah, so it's... Her Vessery onto his Vessery. Yep. I mean, he's doing a good job making her spread fire around, so that's good. Well, when you're getting blocked at range one, it's not, it's not really spreading fire. It's more <laughs> like, I'm going to focus fire this turn, and then focus fire next turn on different ships. <laughs> yeah. Well, what, and what do you do with Omega A's? Like, why didn't he turn them around, you know? Uh, I don't know. Because you get a free stress token on a free evade token with Omega A's K-turning. Get a free stress token. <laughs> yeah. But then you just do the green to get the evade next round. Yeah. It's no big deal. And you're facing the right way the whole time. Yeah. It's like right. he, he took a lot of pressure off of Deborah by swinging him around like that. So yeah. you got the time to breathe. Even though she didn't need time to breathe, she has extra time to breathe now and just focus. Yeah. So. All right. So her Countess is firing. She has a target lock. Re rolls it. And for two. And lots of blanks. Two shields. Two shields. And then his Vessery is going to fire. Range one at her Countess. Or no, her Vessery. Just so many pink ships. Very confusing. Dark pink is Vessery. Four hits. Vade takes two. Two shields. Yep. So yeah, so you're mentioning how he's doing a good job at spreading fire. I maybe he's but not. No. <laughs> no, it's, it's I'm trying to say at least he's doing something. 
It's really not, because if you look at Dev, she's got one shield gone on Countess, two shields gone on Merrick, and then two shields gone on Vessary. Well, he's spreading fire, too. He's spreading fire a lot, because yeah. she's not letting the range one for multiple ships on the one ship, and the range one for multiple ships on another ship the same. They're like, but that, wasn't, that wasn't her fault, though. Yeah. She, well, she didn't cause he, that. He she was didn't letting that. it happen. He, that, he did that. He yeah. did that to himself. Uh, it didn't have to be that way. Yeah. <laughs> You're my brother, Anakin. <laughs> Doesn't have to. <laughs> All right. Wow. So, free evade, focus, because what else? What else are you going to do? Another 4K turn, of course, as a defender. Does this Countess try to go for the 2K turn? I don't know. Do you think that fits? 2K would fit. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You've seen the video before. I have. Okay. But I don't know I don't know if he's doing 2K or not. Yeah. I fell asleep while recording some parts. <laughs> <laughs> She's doing... What's she doing? Not a 2K. Oh. Uh, Oh, too hard. Yep. Come on, you find defenders. You gotta have like big balls. You gotta go for that K turn. Why you gotta be so sexist? Well, I guess it's not riot <laughs> anymore. It's not even riot. So couldn't. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. All right, girls, riot is way back there. So she had yeah. to do the t the two hard or the three hard. So she couldn't even do it. The two K. Yeah. We talking about? Yeah. It's because she's flying ships all in like pink and red. Well, she's a lady. Yeah. She can do that. So hard to tell. All right, so her Wait, turn. Hard to tell what the ships are. Yeah, what the ships are. Okay. <laughs> I just want to make sure that was clear. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're a jerk. Okay, I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right, so her K turn, or her Countess K turns. Oh, Deborah, don't watch the video. <laughs> all right, uh, push the limit. All the tokens, because why not? Vessary's going to K-turn. Yep. Vessary should make that K-turn. Yeah, he 4K. Really should. Yeah. And Omega Ace might actually do something. Three hearts. It's going to barrel not this roll. Round. Not this round. Is he going to barrel roll? Come on, barrel roll. He focuses. <sighs> All right, so 4K, three hard. You totally make that K turn. Look at the rock down below. Yep. Tip, guys, that rock is five spaces out from the board edge because it has to be five spaces because that's range two. If your ship is behind that, a 4K, a 4K, yeah, a 4K will fit. Because mm -hmm. a 4K equals the five space if you count your base. Yes, just as long as you have enough. Wiggle room for the nubs. Yep. And then you're fine. Alright, so now they're talking about some stuff. A little, bit, it, little wand wave. Magic yeah. happens. You get a vape token. You get a vape token. <laughs> Alright, so... It's Christmas for everyone. Her Countess fires. And three hits. Come on, Dev. Spend the... Ah, spin the target lock. Spin the focus. Ah, she doesn't have a focus, does she? No. That's lame. Alright, so three hits. On this Vestry who has one shield. Alright. And he rolls focus. And spin the evade. Takes no damage. There you go. That's why he hasn't been able to juke all game. It's because he hasn't had evade tokens he's been getting shot at. Yeah. So it's it's kind of a bad matchup because the defenders are higher pilot skill than his vestry. Mm -hmm. So she's firing before all times. It's like you have three better ships at higher pilot skills versus three not as good ships at lower pilot skills. Well, I would argue a push the, the same amount of points. A push to limit riot is better than a veteran instincts riot. Yeah. Yeah. The problem is she has. A Veteran Instincts Countess, a Veteran Instincts Vessary, and a Pilot Skill 7 Merrick. So. Alright, next turn. K turns. Again. So why not? It's so good, might as well. Oh, oh. 
Actually, oh. that was a four straight. Or no, it wasn't. It wasn't. No, he revealed a three turn. A three turn. I think he won the 4K, but he revealed a three turn. And I also think that was actually his TIE Fighter style, not well, his Defender style. Even, I got called over for yeah. this one. When I was even in that case, why would Omega Ace be doing a three hard right now? He's Why? That's a really good question. It's not a ma matter of mix-up dials. It, the dial slipped, and it looks like it slipped again over here. Yeah. So here, uh, it was supposed to be doing a four straight. So I think the defender was supposed to do a three type because he's chasing after other, defend or other defenders and wanted to box him in, right? So that yeah. was an appropriate move that he wanted to do for the defender. But over yeah. here, I think um, he wanted to do a four straight with the TIE Fighter. Uh, but the dial slipped, and so they're talking about what to do, and I get I get called over, yeah. and the way the rules read is that if you reveal a wrong dial for your ship, or if it's, or if the dial slips but it's wholly on a maneuver, you have to perform that maneuver even if it slipped because it's wholly yeah. with on, on it. Because if it was as like a judge, in between, you never know too. Yeah, and in between you can kind of like you can roll for it or something. you could roll for it, but the rules will say that the, the your opponent gets to spin your dial. Yeah. Because you could have potentially put it in between, right? So um, he has to perform the maneuver of the appropriate color for that ship if it's legal. If it's not legal, then your opponent can grab your legal dial and spin it. Yeah. Um, in this case, I think it was just a 4K white, but it's going to be red for Omega Ace. And he's been messing with it right now. <laughs> yeah. So he's been messing with this dial. They're trying to figure out, like, showing that it's loose. But as, as a player... Whatever is revealed, yeah, you're sticking to it. That's yeah. the rules. You have to stick to it. And I've had three cases that I can remember off the top of my head where I'm playing a player and they change their dial while I'm moving my ships. And I, so I can't stand players touching their dials at all Yeah. or anything. So well, I have. You really should. Once they're down, yeah. you shouldn't be touching shouldn't their be dials. Shouldn't be touching dials. So I have like no like regret over anything if they accidentally placed. The wrong maneuver, yeah. Because they could have been could have done that on purpose or things like that. Yeah. So, yeah. So Omega Ace does this weird K turn. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he was painted by his loose dial. So what I even did him a favor here. I took one of my defender dials that's, that's sticking pretty good, and I trade because I don't fight him. Yeah. And I just traded him for his loose dial. Yeah. That's that another case for just getting uh, those uh, covers. The covers. The dial covers. Yeah. Because the only ship that I've been having problems with the dial covers for is a TIE SF dial in the Imperial covers. Yeah. But it works totally fine in my Rebel and Scum ones. I don't know. But for some reason it's like too thin, the SF ones. Yeah. Well, I, even with those ones, even if it's still loose, when you grab your dial, you're grabbing the plastic sides. Yeah. So it's not going to spin on you, even if it is loose. Yeah. But yeah, just now with my SFs, I just use Scum dials. There you go. There's one that, that works okay still. I'll use that as my Imperial one for it. So. All right, so his Riot does not do a K turn. Oh, no, I keep getting mixed up. It's not his Riot. No, his Riot. His Merrick Steel. Steel. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know why he didn't do a K turn. Um, I don't know. Going for a block? Maybe no. she thought that that was Countess too. Maybe. <laughs> it has happened. I have played Dead where that has happened. <laughs> so she revealed it down and was like, oh, that's the wrong ship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. And then what? She's purposely she's probably doing herself? A, no, she's probably doing a K turn here. Okay. Yeah. So she she probably put in a five straight thinking it was Countess. Yeah. So multiple dial mix ups. Well, and that's why you should always keep Countess red. Yeah, but Countess looks so pretty in the pink. Uh, yeah. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he said too. <laughs> Way to own that one, Trevor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> gotta, gotta play the part. Play the part. Oh, man. We're having too much fun today. It's because it's Defenders. So much fun. So much fun. All right. So, her Vessery. Throwing three dice. Or maybe it's not. Yeah. So... 
He's deciding on spending tokens. Spend them all. Might as well. Did no damage. Come on. Okay. Uh, range two from Countess. Wait, that's not Countess. That is Countess over there. The oh. pink one's Countess. Oh, that's right. Okay, the light pink one's Countess. Yes. All okay. right, so he spends focus. No damage. And so he's got to be shooting a Vestry here. Vestry has a target lock on him, the red one. Yep. So a Vestry on Vestry. I think that target lock's on Vestry. That's kind of close. We'll find out. All right, so he shoots, he fires. Pick up the target lock. Nope. I guess he didn't shoot at the ship that has a red target lock. But it's kind of, it's like, I don't know. I'm getting frustrated at this point. Um, why wouldn't you, right? All the damage is pretty much equal across all the ships. So Maybe maybe he did and just forgot Vestry's ability. Maybe. Maybe. Vestry doing a three straight. Mm -hmm. And guess what's going to happen? They're going to turn around behind him. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. See, I would have done a 4K. Because you know what's coming up behind you is two ships, right, behind you. And yeah. the other one's going to 4K and possibly be out of range three. Yeah. You know, so I'd be willing to take that shot and shoot at the other guys. But. So has Omega shot besides the first round of combat? No. No. That's a problem. You have 20... How many points is it? Uh, Omega Ace is 26 points. 26 so points not of shooting. not firing. Yeah. yeah. That's a Biggs right there. He doesn't have to fire to have impact. <laughs> Yeah, Biggs doesn't have to fire him. I mean, he still has a major impact because yeah. you have to shoot him. All right, so he's going to try to barrel roll right in front of that rock. I hope not. He's got enough room to do a two bank next turn. Or even a one tight, I guess. Yeah. That's crooked. That's crooked. <laughs> it's it's going it's, it's gonna to I'm going to yell at them and maybe... This is a crooked game. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they maybe they hear me. Yeah, retroact like somehow yeah. he gets like a vibe from like the the future. He hears it. It's like oh yeah. no, it's Trevor in the future yelling at me. Or something. <laughs> yeah, comes out of the camera. <laughs> All right, so her cast is going to do a three hard. Makes sense. Now who do you go after in this one? Um, uh, that Omega ship can shoot Omega Ace when she four Ks with the other. With her dark pink ship, uh, she, he'll be able to shoot at the Omega Ace too. I'm guessing. Yeah. So do you go after Omega Ace and finish it off, or you chase it for the Defender still? He's got one hit point left. I would Not go shield. after it. Yeah, though. Okay. Yeah, Omega you can Ace. kill it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you split fire, but if you kill one ship in the process, you kill one ship. So. Yeah. Four K over here. Yep. Looks like it'll be just within range three. Yeah, because his Vestry still has to move. Oh, it does? Oh, well, then there's, yeah, there's that, too. Wait, no. Yeah, Vestry still has to move, but he should have been moving first. Because he's a six. So many things wrong with this game. So many things wrong. I can't wait till my game, and I do, don't do do anything wrong. No, Vestry already moved. He's a six. But I'm like saying he hasn't things. actually moved. No, he did. He's, what did he do? He's got a token there. He did, like, a... No, that's a target lock from Dev. He did a three straight. I don't know. I never did a three straight. straight. What? Yeah, it moved. His dial's off the board and everything. Huh. It moved. It moved. I you guess. to confuse me. Because we were saying, why don't you just 4K into that position? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Sorry. We know what's up. Oh, your Deborah's bumping stuff. <laughs> 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 Alright, uh, Deb range... Go on, do the range two at Omega Ace. Kill it. I do know that you're allowed to look at your dials once it's your turn to start activating ships. Yeah. You're allowed to do that. Well, you can you can always ask your opponent, hey, can I look at my dial and look at it? Well, you're allowed to. Yeah. It's in the rules. You're allowed to. You don't have to ask. Yeah. But you shouldn't be touching them. Um, well, and the way you should pick up your dial shouldn't it be a way where you're able to spin it. You should just pick two-finger it, look at yeah. it, and put it back down, you know? So, I'm sorry, R2 went off. R2 was complaining about that attack. Alright, so Vestry shot, did no damage. Now, 
or Riot's gonna shoot. Range two, spins, oh, steel shooting. Oh, she's shooting with steel first to see who she should shoot out with Countess. So three hits, blank, focus, focus. How can you tell? I could tell. Took one damage. All I don't right. know, maybe there are two evades. Okay, see? I'm just making up stuff, making... Make, make it sound good. Make it sound good. <laughs> uh, range three from Omega Ace. Ooh, Omega Ace is going to fire. Wow, second time this match. <laughs> yeah. Man, he's like... His finger must be like really itchy right now, waiting to pull that trigger. Uh, two focuses, and... Well, maybe focus crit. Hit focus, crit. Probably, probably focus crit. Or hit crit. He had, yeah. Because he had target locks, he didn't have to spin or nothing. He's like, I don't like you die. <laughs> Alright, uh, Countess did not shoot. Oh, this might be a crazy Oh, list. they went out of order. Omega yeah, Ace should have shot first. Oh, okay. I can, it's understandable because he hasn't had a shot all game. <laughs> you forget he's there. Alright, so here's, I have a thought. Uh, epic tournament list. 12 dead man Z95s. And like you it. can just get right in front of the epic ship and say, I dare you to move. I like it. Right? How do you like that um, the Zago upgrade coming out in the epic? Oh, yeah. Where, you, get where to... you can like have glit or like if you don't need, like let's say if you have Hotshot Blaster. Yes. And you don't ever need it. You just you can switch it out. Yeah. Or Feedback Array. You, you can Feedback switch Array out. to all the way to the end and then Dead Man Switch. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so no damage again because Defender shooting Defenders. Because, like, you could take your 12 Z95s and just charge at the epic ship, yeah. right? Shooting the whole way, and then once it runs over your Z95, it has to roll for its damage, and then takes a damage. Uh, picks up a target lock, spends it, uh, hit crit, she rolls a couple naturals. Essentially, they're really expensive torpedoes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you got 12 really expensive torpedoes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think it's kind of fun. I want to do it just because. Yeah. All right, so 4K, because what else? This is a good time to 4K, because everybody's going to be in a shot. Oh, look, it just falls off. That's true. He's like, he's, I'm just, out. he's done. He's I'm tired. out, guys. At this rate, don't worry, best rate, not much longer. There is a defender list I want to play. Mm -hmm. It's a Ty D one with Tractor Beam, Expertise on Vestry. That's what I've been saying. And then Pure Sabak with Trick Shot in the title. Wait, what's Pure Sabak do? It's where he throws one extra. Yeah. Um, until he has two or er, yeah two damage cards. Yeah. And then uh, Quick Draw with Expertise Fire Control System Lightweight Frame. All at a hundred points. Ooh. And so it's like, who do you fire at? Because every single one of those ships is just going to kill you. Yeah. And expertise on those two ships with double shots. So. Yeah. It's really yeah. Good. Uh, so I've been trying to it say made second at Yavin open. I, I really oh, want to okay. play it just because it like seems a lot of fun. So do they have a second Yavin map? What do you mean? So for Kashyyyk, oh, yeah, yeah. Like a Kashyyyk map. So they already have a Yavin map. So it's Yavin 4 map. So they do a Yavin 3 or 2 map? It's just I'm Yavin. just joking. It's just Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's just Yavin. <laughs> Did they show the moon or just show the, just the gas giant on the map? I'm not sure. Okay. I don't know. Well, the, someone Google that and post it. Again. Or no, no, it was at Mustafar. GTS. It was actually at Mustafar. Oh, it was Mustafar. I forgot. Okay. Well, there was a Yavin one though, isn't there? There is, yeah. I'm so curious about the Yavin map. I want to see it. Yeah. Did they just like repeat the original Yavin with but put, you know, 2017 in the corner? No. <laughs> There's no Death Star. Oh. No Death Star. All right, so I don't know what's deciding upon. We've got Death Star. Death Star. Your cat just bit me. What? Um, no, he was just trying to bite my shoelaces. It's all good, guys. <laughs> <laughs> he does nibble, though. It's a love bites yeah. usually. Yeah. Anyways. All right, so... Titan's on the dark side. Countess is deciding on moving or not, I guess. Oh, she's barrel rolling. What? Oh, 
I would go the other way to get better shot and then not take Omega 8. She's flying like me right now. She's being way too defensive. <sighs> you guys do practice a lot. Maybe she was just taking notes. Yeah, true. Or maybe she's trying to block Vesri's 4K that she dialed in and to make it a 4 straight. Oh, um, so you went to Kashyyyk as well, right? Yeah. What did you rank? Uh, I don't know. I, went, I think you do know. I went 4 and 3. Yeah, so what would you rank? Uh, like 40th or something like 40th. that. 40th. So how do you feel about Deborah taking the new uh, ace seat away from you? Uh, I beat her like 100 zero the other day. I'm fine. <laughs> well, maybe not taking the ace seat, but also joining you in the ranks as ace, yeah. I guess. As a she joins ace. me in the ranks. In the ranks, yes. She, she, if she can beat me in a tournament, then, then I'll say she takes my spot. But Didn't she beat you in the tournament? By no, she hasn't. She like surpassed you 7-0 to... Oh, that's right. I'm saying three. beat me one-on-one -on -one at a tournament. Oh, in a tournament. Okay. In a tournament, yeah. Okay. Then she would have... Then she's got something to say. Then she would take your spot. Yeah. If any of you guys beat me at a tournament, then you have something to say. <laughs> if, I'm not, if I'm not running well, a list, I then I'm having fun I would be in a tournament on. if you didn't cheat and miss the uh, debris, you know? Oh, but yeah. that. Still on that. Still on that. It's like three years old, right? Yeah, it's like yeah. three years old. <laughs> now, if I'm running a list that's, like, non-competitive, that doesn't count. It totally does. No, it doesn't. Why if I'm messing to, around... Why would you go to a tournament with a non-competitive list? Well, because right now there's no, like, tournaments that I really care about. No, no, that's, that's BS. That's BS. Yeah. If you go to a tournament and you say you're bringing a non-competitive list, you sh you're just copying out at that point. Oh, yeah, I'm just having fun. It doesn't matter. If someone beats you with it... Yeah. You know, don't I'm going to run five quad jumpers next tournament, so watch out. Five quad jumpers? Yeah. All right. No, I have to buy I five you. quad jumpers then. <laughs> All right, uh, shooty, shooty, range one and omega ace, just die, just die. I hate when people start touching dice so much. All right, you hate a lot of things. I do. Uh, haters gotta hate though, huh? Uh, one damage on Vessery. Yep. Okay, so I guess it was. Oh, her Vessery was shooting at his Vessery. Yeah, you gotta go in order. Yeah. There's so many defenders. Don't you just hate it? I know, I do. <laughs> Anything else you want to hate today? Well, it's like I haven't run defenders in like a couple months because I was so sick of them. Yeah. I, I just put a defender in my list again. I still don't like it again. <laughs> like, I don't, like don't want to run this. Uh, okay, right. here we go. Mega Ace. No, that's not Mega oh, Ace. It's... His Vestry? Yes. Oh no, it's. He's changing stuff to crits. Who does he have range one in? How is it three dice? Oh, oh dice. Swarm Leader. Yep. Because he has that upgrade. Yep. Deborah's not in her head. She's like, okay, I get it. It sucks, but so I get it. So Swarm Leader for the extra. And then it's target, target Lock, lock to change everything to crits. Target Lock and Focus Token. Alright, so she rolls. Bam! It's like three hits aren't going to do anything anyways, guys. Don't you just hate it when someone dodges out like that? Don't you? Well, it's just, it's three. It's three dice. Uh, this is not something you hate as much. It's okay. not something that I hate as much. <laughs> I, I expect them to dodge out. I'm trying to figure out what is what things you hate now. Oh, I hate when I shoot at Fen Rao. Oh, there you go. You I hate, hate when I shoot at Fen Rao at range two with no tokens, and he cleanly evades it naturally. That happened to me three times at the freaking tournament. That's Damn. why I lost my last game. It didn't make day, day two. Oh, here goes a crit. Here uh, goes a crit. Oh, but wait. He's got to deal him out. I thought he gave it a little bit of a shuffle. Because <laughs> yeah. he saw one and shuffled it back in. I'm like, does it matter? All right. So... The side's here. I'll tell you right now, she's going to pick a stunned pilot. Stunned pilot. Stunned pilot. Yes. May as well. It sticks around. Yeah. Maybe try blocking for that one last death. Mm-hmm. That's the one where if um, they bump stuff, they die, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, they don't die. They take a damage. Take damage. Well, in this case, he'll die. He'll die, yes. All right. Four dice. I think that's stunned pilot. Yeah. Yeah, shaken is a straight one. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Uh, three dice. Trying to evade it all. Ah. There goes Omega Ace. All right, so win condition. What does he have to do? Yeah, well, he's got his vestry at 36 points left. Yeah, so he'll, he'll have to kill... Everything. Everything. <laughs> win condition. Everything. <laughs> One hit point left. It can be done. It, it can be. He's it's been to... done on B-Wings before. <laughs> you remember that match? It. Yes, I remember oh, that hey, match. Oh, hey, I did beat you in a tournament. You did. I got something to say. <laughs> that was the worst <laughs> dice game ever. Ever. Best dice game ever. <laughs> it's a matter of opinion. Yeah. From a certain point of view. <laughs> There's no reason a B-Wing should be able to survive two defenders. Oh, totally can. Especially when it's key and fire. And killing my defenders in the process. <laughs> and this was when TIE X7 was around too? Or yes. No? Yes, this yes, was when TIE X7 yeah. was around. Most awesome game ever. Thank you. I should have just ran away. Eh, you didn't. I know. And you can't, because Keen knows when you're going to run away. He'll just chase you. Yeah, exactly. So That was lame. That was awesome. I just hate it when B-Wings just like, take out your whole list. <laughs> single B-Wing. Ah, come on. Don't move this stuff so much. <laughs> it's like sliding back and forth. <laughs> oh, I remember that match, too. It was like, you made a mistake because I didn't target lock you with Nora. And you rolled in thinking I had to have a... Well, I had to have a target lock to fire advanced to put on torpedoes, right? Yeah. So you rolled in because I didn't have a target lock. You were like, oh, okay, fine, I'm safe. But then I had um, Aaron Kraken oh, shoot yeah, yeah. past target lock and then advanced torpedo like one of your defenders, like right off the board. That yeah. was... I, could, I, I, I felt your frustration. I understood, like, yeah. that is really frustrating. That's what my list does is it tricks you into coming in close. Yeah. I'm like, oh, no, I don't have a target lock. No, it's fine. Bam! Yeah. <laughs> I hardly ever fall for those things anymore. Hardly. Though. Hardly. Yeah. I oh. did forget about Gunner this last weekend. Uh, did you? I was so mad at myself. Well, because he was running some weird Decimator build. Um, he had, he, well, he had Kylo, so that's normal, but then he had, like, Mercenary Co-Pilot, and that's just like, okay, so this is, like, weird Decimator build, and, like, not thinking there's Gunner also on it, like a normal Decimator, and then Backdraft died, and I was so mad. See, Sorry. Gunner and I still came back and won, but it like made me in like a bad mood for like the rest of the match. Yeah, that I forgot something like that. And oh, it's because he also forgot for like the whole match, except for up until then. So that's why I didn't realize he had Gunner on it. Oh, because he, he wasn't. He was never triggering it. Oh, that's like the sneakiest five yeah. points ever. <laughs> it's like oh, I'm just gonna hide my Gunner. Not you. Pretend he's not there. And then yeah. surprise. Oh, what I like to do too is with Lieutenant Blount. I won't oh, yeah. say anything. I'll just fire a missile, right? Yeah. Like Ion Pulse or something like that, right? Yeah. Where it says if it hits, take a damage and this happens, right? Um, I'll just fire like, oh, okay, I got uh, you know three hits out of four. And then I let them roll their dice. I let them use their tokens. Yeah. Once they're all spent down, they go, okay, I dodged it. I said, okay, you now receive one Ion token to take a damage. He's like, what? <laughs> and I go, it's Lieutenant Blount. My attack hits. Yeah. Oh, like I'll put my thing. I put the tokens back out, and I go, no, no, you spent them. Yeah. Like I read you my card before we played, and then I was just casual about it. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have a lot of commentary on this match, I think, because there's just a lot of K turns and. Yes, sorry guys for the lack of yeah. commentary. It's defenders. Next game will be much more exciting. I promise. I'm in it. Oh, bore. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe I. Can and get I don't Deborah. have a defender in my list. Maybe I can get Deborah to commentate with you. Yeah, she can do. That'd be awesome. But then I'll just be like, why'd you do that, Dev? But she'll time. be like, well, why didn't you do that? You know? Yeah. So that'd be good. So that'd be kind of fun to have you guys commentate on your own game. Yeah. Deborah, if you watch this video, let's arrange this. Whoa, oh, paper. Paper. Table marker on the All field. Right, takes the damage, dies. Woo! Good job, guys. Good, job. good game. Good game. All right, well, thanks for watching another TMK video. Um, our games, we, we, we always play as SoCal Games and Comics or. Uh, the other store in town, Tier 1. So there's a plug for you guys. But this one happened to be at uh, SoCal Games and Comics. So come by our store. Come play with us. And uh, Tremens, get your games recorded. Deb er, co My name's Bombay. Bombay. I'm Trevor. Bombay, I'm any the comments? Trevor, the Rivco champ, signing <laughs> off. Bye, guys.